What's good, YouTube? I'm here right now to show you guys how to restore a snapback hat that you find from the thrift store, a consignment store, like your grandpa's garage, whatever. Um, but this tutorial is meant to help you know how to restore it and show you how step by step. Alright, so what you're going to need is a form, which is just a piece of cardboard that I cut out that's about the height of the top of the hat. And you're going to put it inside the hat like like when you get your hat at first or from when you buy it from the mall or whatever and it comes with like a little piece of cardboard usually in here it will be you put it in there like that so um, I'll tell you what order to do it in so first you're gonna need first off you need a sink of course and make sure there's no potatoes in it let's get rid of that and then you're gonna need hot water oh, and you're gonna need a tripod that can stand up if you're filming it oops, oops. technical Sanchez okay so let's get the hot water running I'm gonna turn it down low because I'm cool okay so we're just going oh by the way I got this hat from a thrift store in my town earlier today I've been starting to come across a lot of like sick snapbacks this is Texas Rangers it's pretty dope um, I think I'll be able to form it pretty good but let's see what we can do and put the tripod near the sink more okay and my tripod fails to stand by itself once again sorry people okay here we go this is hot. You might not be able to hear me very good, but just like watch what I'm doing, alright? So, make sure it's best with no tag, like when you buy it or on it, otherwise it'll just come off anyway, so might as well do that. And you just wanna, you definitely wanna use hot water because it like gets all the wrinkles out of your hat, especially. Mostly, at least. And just like, Gotta get all over the place. That was that's what she said, but no. I'm not a girl. And that's not what I said. Um, this hat's really clean though. Um, um usually when you get a thrift store hat, I would definitely recommend going in the washing machine, put it on rinse cycle, and just um, put some soap in the washing machine and scrub your hat a little bit just with your hands like like that kind of harder um, do that for like a good five minutes at the max it doesn't even matter just make sure you get all the gross caca stuff off of it when you're uh when you have like a gross dirty hat but this hat's really like clean and nice looks brand new almost um yeah but there it is. You just want to make sure it's all wet. <laughs> In my dirty talk. Alright. So you can see it's all wet inside. Okay, so we're going to turn the camera toward here. And I think we're done with the sink for now. Oh no, yeah, we're done with the sink. So you don't need a sink any longer. And then, okay, so the next thing you're going to need is hairspray. I, it's called Aquanet, and it's extra super hold. And that's what it looks like. It's really big, like my arm-ish kind of thing. But um, it was like five bucks at the most from Rite Aid, I think, in my local Rite Aid. Uh, my mom ran in and got it for me because she was going there anyways. But I think it's about five bucks. So. And this stuff works really good. You want to make sure you get extra super hold when you use hairspray on your hats. So you're going to unsnap it. So it's like that. I found this is the best way to do it. 
and then you're gonna want to you see all the sweat bands like in like normal you're gonna want to do this as far as I know I've done this bunch of times and just fold it over like that because it works really good and uh, you don't want the hairspray that much on the sweatband doesn't matter if you do but I don't like it on the sweatband at all so it doesn't barely make a difference at all but you're going to want to spray like a good amount generous amount of hairspray in the white area just the white area and maybe a little bit over here not much though like trust me just the white area is what you need so I'm gonna do that right now and I'm gonna put the camera back a little bit cuz I'm really not trying to get the camera full of hairspray so I'm gonna aim it and I'll do I'll do it this way just so it doesn't get in the way and I'll try to point it towards the camera so you can see so I'm gonna hold it kinda close like this Oh, it smells really bad, but whatever. Alright. Ugh. Get the cockas out of here. And then, um, make sure it didn't get on the lens. Alright, so, after you did that, cap the hairspray for now. And then, get your thing, your, uh, form, and put it in right away right in here and it's up to you to make the form it, you can figure it out you're not stupid hopefully if you want I'm sorry but it sucks so got this puppy and you just want to fold the sweatband over so it spanks itself so just like normal like I told you and that's it when it's in nothing done to it okay so then you're going to see if I can fix the tripod a little bit um, okay it's a really uncomfortable position but I'm talking like I'm an Asian lady but that's okay and you're gonna get all your bunches of towels I got like 10 no I got like 7 here and you're going to stuff your hat with it so make it like so there's no space just stuff it like a Thanksgiving turkey not really I get bored so just stuff it with a bunch of little towels that your mom doesn't care about because it might get a little messed up in the hairspray it could it hasn't really happened to me but I'm sure it could See if I can get the camera a little closer. Yeah. All right. See if I got this first try. Sometimes you have to take it out and restuff it, and I'll show you what the point of stuffing it is in one second. Okay. All right. So it's all stuffed, and you can see the hat already looks like a thousand times better. It's almost good form and everything. So. Move the camera out of the way this way. I can see real good. You want to get like eye level to the hat. Like, okay, look how I am. Like, like that. So you can see the hat really good. And you okay. So how you leave it to sit, it will dry. So any wrinkles in it, it will dry like that. So if you don't want wrinkles. If you want it to form really badly, then let it, let it sit really badly. If you want it to form good, let it sit good, obviously. Okay, I gotta stuff it a little better. And tell me if you like my channel name too, because I just took like four hours literally thinking of a name couldn't think of one so I took part in my Devin and I don't know why I did that but I don't really care channel names not that important and it sounds like I'm farting but it's not me or it's not my butt that's my hand on the counter so okay so doesn't that look pretty good I would say it does I'm gonna lower the tripod a little bit 
so you can see it at like more eye level you know there it is you can see it better it's like that and okay so I think that looks pretty darn tootin good move that because I don't know what that is and we're going to spray the outside right okay so this line right here all the way around to down here within the, those perimeters things that's the only place you want to spray your hairspray because that's where the uh, white stuff is on the inside oh my god me and my dirty jokes today but still okay um, so don't coat too heavily otherwise it will turn out like crap and you'll hate it and it'll have a bunch of little fibers caught with hairspray around it and that will suck and it will look like crap um, this hat I formed LA Dodgers I'm not a big fan of them but they're alright and I think it's vintage but I don't know I got it from my grandpa. I got a bunch of ads from him. But um, let me spray this real quick. And I found that if you blow on it too, it eliminates all the little fibers. Or you can uh, put, or like all the little hair spray stuff on the fibers to see if you can see it. I can see it clearly, but I don't know if you guys can. Well, you see all the little white sparkles? That's the little stuff on the fibers. I don't know if that goes away when it dries overnight, but I don't want to chance it, so I always blow on it. I don't want to blow it on, on it in further camera because you guys are going to make fun of me. So you see how it's like... You see how my tripod's not still cooperating and falling apart? Okay, so... But, so but, that's how you form a hat, and I'll be back in the morning after it dries to show you how it turned out. And it will turn out great because I am a great person. And thanks for watching. That is my video on how to restore a hat, part one. Alright guys, so it's in the morning, and the hat is dry. So when it's dry, you just want to take out all the towels, all that stuff. Then you can also take out the form, which I'll do right now. And then you got your hat. It's all perfect and formed, and it looks pretty dope. Alright guys, so that was my tutorial, and this is the hat we restored, and I think it looks pretty good. Um... Nothing didn't work out. It looks pretty good on my head, I think. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so I've done that many times before, but if you have any other suggestions for other like walkthroughs or tutorials that I can do, um, let me know on YouTube on here. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, favorite, comment, all that other stuff. Um... Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.